Unlocking bootloader and installing TWRP recovery is tricky for newbies. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can install TWRP recovery in Redmi K20 Pro. So hey guys, my name is Jarvis and if you are new here on Tech Jarvis, do consider subscribing channel. Let's start the video without wasting more time. Preview. So here is my K20 Pro and guys, this is the simplest method that you can follow in order to unlock the bootloader of your Redmi K20 Pro. Before get started, guys make sure to back up all your data as it will erase all the data from your from the internal storage. So guys here is my K20 Pro and it is running on MIUI 12.0.6 and Android version is Android 10. First of all you need to enable the developer option. To enable developer option tap on MIUI version 5 time. So go to settings and here is the additional settings and tap on developer option. Now first you need to enable OEM unlocking. So enable this. Now tap on MI unlock status. As you can see, my device is locked yet. So tap on add account. Now my MI account is successfully added to my device. Now enable develop USB debugging option. Everything is now done. It's time to boot the device into the fast boot mode. So for power off a device and press power key and volume down key simultaneously. My device is now in fast boot mode. Now it's time to connect the device with the PC and let's move to the PC screen. So in PC you need to download all these files. You can download these files from the description link. So after download this you need to extract all these files. So I'm gonna extract all of these. All the files are now extracted. Now open this adb setup file and run this file as administrator. Here type y in caps and hit enter. It will install adb and fastboot system wide. And now type y again to install the drivers. Now it's time to open minimal adb fastboot. So open this. and run this ads administrator now keep clicking next to install the adb and fastboot adb and fastboot now installed you can minimize this and go back It's time to run MI unlock tool. So open this folder and here batch unlock. Run this file as administrator. Now sign in with your MI account which was connected to with your device. I signed in with, with my MI account tap on refresh and as you can see my device is not appear here so we need to install device drivers so go to device manager and here as you can see android so right click here and tap on update drivers and tap on browse my computer for drivers and click here and here tap on android device and select android bootloader interface and click on next Drivers are now successfully installed. Go back and here as you can see drivers now installed. Now open CMD and type fastboot devices to check my device is connected or not. So yes my device is now connected. Open MI unlock tool and guys as you can see my device is appear here. So tap on unlock. And my device will be reboot in few seconds. My device is not reported. Guys, first boot might take a while, don't worry, it's normal. So, I'm gonna fast forward this video to make this video short.
सो गाइज माई डिवाइस इज नो बूट सब एंड आई हैव सक्सेसफुली अनलॉक द बूट लोडर ऑफ माई डिवाइस टू चेक बूट लोडर इज अनलॉक डॉट नॉट फर्स्ट इनेबल डेवलपर ऑप्शन सो एम आई अनलॉक स्टेटस इज अनलॉक एज यू कैन सी माई डिवाइस इज नो सक्सेसफुली अनलॉक इट्स टाइम टू इंस्टॉल टी डब्ल्यू आर बी रिकवरी टू इंस्टॉल टी डब्ल्यू आर बी रिकवरी अगेन बूट द डिवाइस इन टू द फास्ट बूट मोड माई प्रेसिंग वॉल्यूम डाउन एंड पावर की साइमल्टेनियसली device is now booted into fast boot mode it's time to connect your device with the pc and let's move to the pc screen so in pc open the folder where you download all the files and here is the twrp file so i'm going to flash this file with the help of adb and fast boot so type fast boot devices to check your device is connect with the pc or not so as you can see my device is connected with the pc Now type fast boot space flash space recovery space and enter the location of your TWRP file. So guys, TWRP recovery is successfully installed. Now it's time to boot the device into TWRP recovery. So type fast boot boot and enter the location of your file. and hit enter it will boot the device into twrp recovery guys first boot might take quite a while don't worry it's normal and as you can see my device is now successfully boots into twrp recovery now first connect your device with the pc and copy magix file from pc a few moments later So I have copied Magix file to my internal storage. Guys, before flashing Magix, I recommend to take a backup of your stock boot file. So take a backup. Backup is now successful. Go back. Tap on install. And here is the Magix file. So click here and just swipe to confirm flash. Guys, it may take 30 to 40 seconds. So wait. Now Magix is successfully installed. So go back and tap on reboot and tap on recovery. First we will boot the device into recovery mode. Now tap on reboot again and tap on system. Guys first boot might take quite a while but don't worry it's normal it may take uh, 30 to 40 seconds so I'm going to fast forward the video. So my device is successfully boots up as you can see now power of your device and check twrp recovery is permanently installed or not So guys yes as you can see twrp recovery is now permanently installed on this device so by this way you can install twrp recovery on your Redmi K20 Pro if you guys have any query then do let me know in the comment section your input will be considered so hope you like this video if you like this video give it a big thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to the channel see you have a great day i will catch up in the next one